We're here today to just really start to raise awareness about how much we're throwing away, but it's more than that, it's food waste in general, cycling, uh, what we're doing with leftovers and how we can grow to sort of love love our leftovers. I was really shocked actually to see how much we, we, we do throw away um, and how much of it is avoidable. It's a, a great thing to be part of and I just hope that this is the start of something bigger where, where people start to really understand it and, and there's ways of avoiding it really. So there's food waste on so many different scales, so from the big supermarkets and conglomerates to restaurants and, and I know that work, where I've been working in some restaurants recently, how seriously it's taken and, and it's not just about profit and bottom line, it's a, it's a moral thing as well. So. You know, if you don't have to throw it away, then don't. It is a big problem. And look, but I'm on a learning journey as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm part of this and this initiative, um, but I've probably thrown away stuff in the past. I'm sure I have thrown away stuff in the past where actually it was perfectly good. And it's just about time and we live busy lives, but it's about how you store food, how you buy food, you know, and, and all of those things. And it's about just making a change, even a small one, and then it's snowballing really. Definitely soups. I mean, you can put so much into a lovely soup. Um, if you take tomatoes, for example, you know, you've got some squidgy tomatoes left in the fridge and get them in the oven, a bit of sugar, roast them up so you get all those delicious sugars, blitz them and you've got the most fantastic, fantastic soup. Things like bread, bread is always thrown away. Lovely bread pudding, bit of cinnamon. All you need is bread, a few eggs, some cream, milk, sugar. Uh, if you've got some chocolate chips flying around or some or some raisins, then then even better. I think the thing is, it's about food that people want to eat, and it's not too hard, not too time-consuming to do. But yeah, things like soups and stews, especially coming up to we're coming up to winter now, um, it's a great time for it. So I love pickling as well. If you can, if you've got vinegar and you've got sugar, you can pickle. So it might be pickled turnips, you know, pickled cucumbers, carrots, um, peppers. And that's a great way of preserving stuff um, as well. So there's loads and loads of things you can do. We'll all do it together and make Sussex, put Sussex in a better place, I guess. So thank you very much. Thank you. So I moved to um, a Worthing, God, it's about 15 years ago now. Like a lot of Londoners, we all moved down uh, from London because everyone wants to be by the sea. We just fell in love with it, you know, all the whole area. So from, you know, West Sussex, uh, you know, places like Bognor, I have a great time when we were down in Bognor Beach and stuff like that and in Worthing, Chichester, all around this area. Arundel, I'm, I remember going there as a kid and seeing this castle and thinking, yeah, this is amazing. I think we're really privileged to live in this part of the world. We've got the sea on one side, we've got the downs on the other side, we've got all this fresh produce that's around us and, it, and it's a beautiful place to live. As much as I love London, I'm, you know, I'm a Sussex boy now and I'll tend to stay here. And anything I do, I want it to be in Sussex. So, um, so yeah, just a great place.